Hi guys, I'm Sen and welcome to the first in the Figma series and this one is really simple. It's how to actually register on Figma. But the important bit here is how to get the free student account. Okay. The reason why this is important is that if we have a look at their pricing, everyone can get the starter. It doesn't matter if you're a, a student or not, everyone get the starter package from free, uh, for free with Figma, which is great. However, as you can see, they've got professional and organization tiers as well. And you do get a lot more stuff in the professional. The number of projects, version history, all that sort of stuff is really quite handy. And Figma is really great. If you are a student, you can actually get the professional package for free if you are a student. It just tells you they're free for students. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. So the first thing we do is obviously we go to figma.com okay and then we click on the sign up and this is the first important step you've got to put in your school or college's email address that you are given this is the quickest way to get yourself verified as a student so put in your student email address obviously your password is meant to be a secure password it is not meant to be the password for your email and once you've filled that in you press the create account And then you'll get this page. And again, put in your actual name. This is very important, obviously, for your tutors if they um, have also got the account where they can look into your projects. They want to know who you are. So put in your actual name. And for the work that you do, you know, just put in other. I mean, if you want to make out your software development, you can do, but that may hinder your uh, ability to actually get the student account. Uh, you do not have to agree to join the mailing list. Okay, that is an optional one. And then you create the account. Once you've clicked the create account, you will go straight in. You've e registered. And obviously, you can give yourself a team name. So I'm just going to put in seats. That's the name of the site I'm working on. And, uh, you know, start it off as choose starter. Okay. Then you can also do all of the, you know, little going around the website, seeing what they've got. I'm going to say no for the moment. Now, what you'll also get from them will be an email. The email will look like this. You've seen many of these before. Okay, it's just to confirm that your email is what you said it is. Okay, so you confirm the email. And again, this really helps you to do this at this stage because it then um, confirms that your college or school email is correct. And once you've done that, you'll get another one. Welcome you to Figma, okay, which will give you some help information as well. So once you've done that, you have another step, and that is then to apply for a student account. And again, this is really straightforward. So all you want to do is go to figma.com forward slash student forward slash apply. And then you'll see this form to verify your student information. So obviously put in your full name, your school and college or college email address as before. Obviously the date of birth. Um, there is a requirement, I think, that you have to be over the age of 13 for this. And the important thing is your school's name and your school's main address. Not your own, your school or college's address, okay? If you're not sure what it is, you can go onto your school or college's website and the all this information will be on there. Okay, and obviously add your school's website address and then press this, the submit button. And sometimes you'll get this um, congratulations, uh, you have been verified as a student account and you've got it straight away. Other times it'll say we're just doing some checks, but often um, if you check your email, you'll just get another verify this email address, click on that, and you get a student account. Job done, nice and easy. And that is all from this video today. It's a really nice, simple one. Uh, we will be doing uh, a lot more on the Figma series, so stay tuned for that. As usual, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that jazz, okay? And do put comments in. I'm noticing no one's putting any comments. Put some comments in. Even if it's telling me it's bad, tell me it's bad, tell me why. But apart from that, this is Zen signing out. See you next time.